My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to talk about POTS and in particular the benefits of melatonin in POTS. Okay, so one of the most prominent and debilitating features of POTS is a very marked increase in the heart rate upon adopting an upright posture. This causes the patient to experience very fast heart palpitations, which can be both very scary and very uncomfortable. The patient will therefore try and sit down or lie down to try and alleviate these palpitations, but this is at the cost of becoming increasingly deconditioned in the medium and long term. In the overwhelming majority of patients, this excessive rise in a heart rate is explained by an exaggerated release of flight or fight hormones such as adrenaline and noradrenaline. Why this happens, we don't understand. But if we can in some way blunt this increase in the heart rate, then there is a likelihood that we could improve the ability of the patient to stand for longer with less symptoms. This has the benefit of them becoming less deconditioned over a period of time. So we already have some medications which can help with reducing the heart rate when people stand up. One of them is beta blockers. The other one is something called ivabradin. And in those people who can tolerate them, uh, the quality of life improves. Patient fi patients find that their symptoms improve. It is worth, however, noting that a lot of patients who have POTS for some reason just don't tolerate medications very well and tend to be quite prone to side effects. And therefore, as POTS doctors, we are always on the lookout for other medications which could help reduce the standing heart rate, uh, which may hopefully be better tolerated by some patients. This is where the medication I'm going to talk about today comes into discussion. This medication is melatonin. Melatonin is an endogenous compound which is secreted by our pineal gland in our brain. It's involved in, the, involved in regulating the circadian rhythm and acts as a signal for darkness. It is both a hypnotic and a chronobiotic. What I mean by chronobiotic is it's an agent that causes phase adjustment of a disrupted body clock. Now, there was a really interesting study published in the American Journal of Cardiology by, in 1999. The lead author was a guy called um, Arangino, Arangino et al. And they studied 17 healthy women and found that when you gave um, people one milligram dose of melatonin, compare it with placebo, melatonin seemed to reduce the noradrenaline levels after five minutes of standing. So it seemed that this medication in this very small study reduce the amount of noradrenaline rise in patients when they stood up. So based on these data, researchers started wondering whether melatonin may work for POTS patients, because in POTS patients, the heart rate goes up excessively. And uh, that we think is because of lots of noradrenaline. If you could suppress the noradrenaline, you'd make things better. So in 2014, a group of scientists from Nashville, Tennessee, published the results of a really interesting study using melatonin in POTS patients. Um, now, this study was published in the Cardiovascular Therapeutics Journal, and I think the lead author was someone called Elizabeth Green. Okay, so what these guys did was they took 78 patients with POTS, gave them placebo versus three milligrams of melatonin on alternate days. And then they measured the heart rate and the blood pressure changes from sitting to standing. Uh, and they did this every hour for four hours after taking the medications. They also wanted to assess patient symptoms. So they used a um, questionnaire uh, and they measured that they asked the patient to, you know, score on that questionnaire about quality of life symptoms before and at two and four hours after taking the medications. In terms of the symptoms, there are nine main symptoms that people with POTS have. And these were the symptoms that were assessed. These include mental clouding, blurring of vision, breathlessness, chest discomfort, nausea, uh, sorry, chest discomfort, uh, tremulousness, uh, rapid heartbeat, obviously, lightheadedness, nausea, and headache. Okay, so those are the nine main symptoms that patients with POTS get when they stand up, and they wanted to try and work out whether the melatonin or the placebo made a substantial difference to these symptoms. And the results were interesting in that patients had a modest but significant reduction in standing heart rate compared to placebo. So that theory was proved that actually, if you took these people, their heart rate goes up less when they stand if they're on melatonin. Uh, the reduction in heart rate was noticeable of, uh, 
about two hours after they took the medication and it was about by about seven beats per minute you know not a huge number but still significant there was no change in blood pressure which is again a good thing because sometimes people's blood pressure drops and they don't like it and the other interesting thing that was found was that although the heart rate came down when patients were asked to score on quality of life there was no significant improvement in how they felt so the heart rate got better but for some reason the way the, the the symptoms didn't improve now that may be the way the symptoms were assessed through the questionnaire but it's interesting data nevertheless so overall it appears that melatonin does have an effect on lowering the heart rate maybe it doesn't do enough on its own uh, but maybe if you combined it with uh, other medications that lowered the heart rate, and in particular those people who don't tolerate higher doses, you could combine it with a bit of melatonin, and maybe this may result uh, in a better control of standing heart rate. The other thing it's worth noting is that it would have been really interesting to see if they'd used the melatonin at night rather than the morning, uh, because the time melatonin works most harmoniously with the body because of what it does is in the evening at night. Um, we clearly need bigger studies to see whether melatonin given in the right way um, could help patients. Uh, but the problem here is that we don't we won't have these studies for several years and we're you know firstly POTS is under recognized B people doctors don't tend to take it that seriously C where do you get all these patients for for who's going to make the money so if if there's no money to be made the study is not going to be done so uh, and melatonin is something you can buy off the counter in places like America so in the UK, I mean, many of my patients have asked me about melatonin for a long time. I've said I don't really know enough about it, but on uh, reading the data, I personally wouldn't have a problem trying it out in some of my patients. The problem is in this country, melatonin prescription seems to be quite highly regulated. In America, however, as I say, it's easily available over the counter, and some of my patients have used it and they have found it to be helpful. I'm going, I've set up a poll on my YouTube channel uh, asking people um, as to whether they've benefited from melatonin just to try and work it out, you know, exactly how many people feel that any kind of benefit. To my mind, um, you know, this is a, um, a medication that's easily available over the counter in places like America. So personally, I don't see a major problem with trying it. If it makes someone feel better, then that benefit is great. You know, it's very welcome. If on the other hand, it doesn't, then at least you've tried something. Because at this point in time, options are so incredibly limited for POTS patients that anything is worth a go, provided it's safe. Um, anyway. If you if you have tried melatonin, I'd be so grateful if you voted on the poll on the YouTube channel, which is um, your cardiology is the YouTube channel. Uh, and I hope you found this useful and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you once again for all that you do for me. All the best. Bye.